Hi everyone. In this video I would like to give some advice for how to use some excellent tools on LeechS to help you build and learn an opening repertoire. So log into LeechS if you don't have an account it's free to sign up. The uh, web address is lichess, it's pronounced leechess.org. You can go to um, learn and study. So we're going to talk about how to use a study. So you get to this menu here. These are all uh, studies that people have created. And we can take a look at one and show you what it looks like. So a study is um, a place where you can uh, store moves and analysis uh, and comments. And you can even post links in the study. And other people can view them and even change them, modify the studies. And on the left, there are uh, chapters in this menu that you can create. And so uh, that's somebody else's study, Amon Hamilton's study. And the most uh, popular ones will filter up to the top of this page here. Um, but you can create your own study. Um, when you do, you can click on My Studies here on the left. These are the studies I've created. Uh, and you can create a new one by hitting this plus button. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a new study. Now, let's say we want to use a study in order to uh, build an opening repertoire for white. And let's narrow it down to uh, the Rui Lopez. Okay, so let's say we want to build our own personal uh, repertoire here. So you probably don't want to make it public for everybody to view it, um, unless you really don't care. So where it says visibility, I'm going to change it to unlisted. And then I'm going to go down and hit start. Now, uh, chapter one, um, you can name it whatever you want. I'll call it repertoire. You can choose the orientation. If you're doing a black repertoire, you can change it so that the black pieces are on the bottom of the board. And I'm going to leave it on white and just create the chapter. And you'll see chapter one on the left here says repertoire. Now you start making moves and they all get recorded. You can see them in the pane on the right here. And this is the Rui Lopez. And you may wonder how are you going to uh, decide on your moves and actually choose your repertoire. Well, I recommend using the the database on LeechS, if you hit this little book icon on the bottom, you'll see the top moves played in this position. There are two databases actually. There's a master database and there is a LeechS database. If you hit this little cog here, you can switch it to LeechS and um, masters. So uh, I'll leave it on masters, hit all set. And so you can see in this position, A6 is the most often played move. It's often called Morphe's move, and you want a response to that. And let's say your repertoire um, includes the move bishop to a4. You might prefer bishop takes c6. Okay, now here um, there are several responses, but by far the most popular is knight to f6. And let's say we decide we're going to castle in that position. And now let's say black plays... Um, bishop to e7, okay, and that was the main move in the position, and it's called the closed Rui Lopez. You can see that here at the top. Um, it tells you the name of the opening. So let's say in the closed Rui Lopez, we plan to play rook to e1 um, to defend our e-pawn. But let's go back and make a branch now. The closed Rui Lopez is not the only move. Um, another popular move is knight takes e4, which is the open Rui Lopez. And let's say in that position we're going to play d4 instead. Okay, so you start building your repertoire and it branches off and all of the different lines are saved over here. You don't have to do anything to save. If you just close your browser right now, this study will be saved for you and you can find it again. It's automatically saved. Um, if you'd like to make a comment on a move, you can click this little comment button down at the bottom. And let's say you want to remind yourself why you are playing d4. 
So you can say you're playing d4 to open the e file or something like that. You can also draw arrows on the board. Use your right mouse button to click and drag, and the arrows will get saved as well. So when you go through the moves, you come back here, the arrow will show up. You can highlight squares. You can put a little circle around something. You can erase it. Just use your right mouse button. So it's all saved. So you create your repertoire, and you can use the database to help, but I would also recommend um, you know, using books or videos. You can find a lot of videos nowadays on YouTube. Um, just type in the opening you're interested in. Just type in Rui Lopez or a particular uh, opening, uh, variation of the Rui Lopez, and you'll find some often very good uh, commentary discussing the opening. So it's important to go beyond just uh, rote memorization. You don't want to just memorize the database here. Uh, you want to understand the strategy behind your moves, the reasons behind them, and you want to choose moves that make sense to you when you're building your repertoire. So let's say you've done that and you've created a whole repertoire here in this first chapter and you want to quiz yourself over it. Well, let's add a new chapter and we'll call it uh, Quiz 1 and we'll leave the orientation on white and it says analysis mode. I'm going to change that to interactive lesson. And then I'm going to create the chapter. Now I'm going to create a quiz where the computer prompts us to make all the white moves. And I'll put a, an initial comment here at the bottom. Play white. And here are the moves that will enter. Let's say we have a quiz for the closed Rui Lopez. Which begins like this. It should be 7. And let's say in the closed Rui Lopez we want to play Rook E1. And you can go further down the line if you want to. Okay, and that quiz is saved. You don't have to do anything else. If you want to preview the quiz and see how it works, just uh, maybe go back to the beginning here and then hit preview and it's now quizzing you and it says play white. So in your repertoire that you've created, just remember the repertoire and black will automatically be played for you and it says what would you play in this position. Okay, and again, so it will play the black side for you and test your memory here. Okay, so after uh, knight f6, we castle. Bishop e7 is the closed Rui Lopez, and I have to remember to play rook to e1 there. And it says, congratulations, you completed this lesson. So you can create as many quizzes as you want. And what I do is, for my repertoire, every time it branches, goes down a new line, I create a new quiz for that branch. So I would create a quiz 2. They're very easy and fast to create. I have to remember to put it into an interactive lesson here under analysis mode and just make the moves again and it records your quiz. And this time, let's say after castles, uh, black plays knight xe4. That was the other branch in our uh, repertoire. And there we're going to play d4. That's the open Rui Lopez. Okay, let's preview that quiz. Actually, I can't. I've got to go back to the beginning first and then preview it. And it says, what would you play in this position? So I guess I don't need an opening comment. It'll ask for me. Okay. So I'm going to play through the Rui Lopez. And you don't even have to tell yourself that you're playing the open Rui Lopez. You just have to respond to the moves you see as if you were playing a game and you want to say, okay, in this instance, I want to play D4. Congratulations, you completed this lesson. Okay, now I would also recommend that as you're playing through your repertoire and trying these quizzes, that you give a small um, verbal, short verbal reason for every move you're making. Uh, as a mnemonic device and as an aid to understanding the opening. So 
maybe first few moves you're okay with and you don't really need a reason, but let's go ahead and just give you an example of what you could say. So you're playing the white side of your, of your repertoire in the Rui Lopez. So let's say for e4 you remember, okay, I'm posting a pawn in the center and I'm opening diagonals for my bishop and queen. Okay, e5. Knight f3, I'm developing a piece, getting closer to castling, and I'm attacking black's center pawn. Knight c6. Bishop b5. So I'm attacking the defender of the e5 pawn now. I'm putting indirect pressure on black's center. Okay, a6. Bishop a4. So here your reason might be, I want to retain the bishop and continue to put pressure on that knight until black perhaps cuts me off with b5. Okay, knight to f6. So here you might say for your move castles that I realize my e4 pawn is under attack, but the reason I castled was to be able to respond to that with an eventual rook to e1 and get counterplay down the e-file. Okay, then bishop e7. Now you can say to yourself, for your move rook e1 here, that the reason I played that was to defend my e-pawn since black blocked the e-file and stopped some of my counterplay, like a check against the black king. So it was time to defend that e-pawn. So think of a reason like that, and if you, if you have to, you can write them in as comments um, as you're doing this. Anyway, as I said, this is automatically saved. If I go back to Learn, Study, and I click on My Studies, then here it is. The, you'll have a list of every study you've created, and this uh, is in reverse chronological order, so this is the most recent one. This is the one we were just building together. So it's there for you. Now what I like to do, since I'm going to be getting a lot of studies, and there is no way on Lee Chess to organize them, or reorder them, or put them into folders or anything like that, what I recommend doing is using a Word file like this to uh, write down your different studies that you've created, and put links to them. You can just copy and paste the link here. Um, so for example, let me, let me log out. If you sign out of your account and you go to one of your study links, like I have one for the Rui Lopez uh, Berlin Defense, then when you go to it, you're viewing it as an outsider would view it. So you don't have um, you don't have to worry about previewing the quizzes. If you just go to quiz one here, it'll just start playing. So this repertoire is for black. And so I'm playing the black side and I have to remember my repertoire. And I don't remember which quiz is going to do which lines. So I just have to respond. Okay. Is this a good move? Your turn, what would you play? Is this a good move? All I have to remember is this is my Rui Lopez Berlin defense repertoire. That tells me uh, what I have to play. And my repertoire is pretty deep. Okay, some lines go deeper than others. I'll show you where this line ends. This is called the Berlin Wall uh, defense in the Berlin defense. And by the way, let me do a wrong move, show you what happens. So this is not my repertoire. It just says retry. And if you can't remember, you can view the solution down here. Okay, so this is my next move in the repertoire. This is my next move. Next move. And that's going to end the line. And I drew a couple arrows here to remind myself that uh, I'm going to get my rook to d8 here, I'm going to push my h pawn, and maybe if this bishop isn't um, in the way, I might bring my rook forward on the h file. Okay, and I have a lot of quizzes here, all the way down to quiz number 21 in this particular repertoire. 
And if we look here, this is what my repertoire looks like in that uh, first chapter. So a lot, of, a lot of branching you can see in various places. And it's all recorded, and as you play through it, sometimes you'll see little arrows drawn, like there I moved d5, and I'm reminding myself, hey, notice you are attacking that pawn on e4 twice. It's only defended once, things like that. Um, at the bottom, as you play through, you can click on the different branching moves, or you can just click in this list here. Okay. And you learn your repertoire, you say the reasons for it, you, you grab the link when you're done creating it, you put it into a, a Word file or something, and you keep an organized list. And you just constantly play through your repertoire until you learn it. It does take some experience um, balancing uh, the ideas of detail and brevity. You can't have uh, too much detail in your repertoire or you'll never remember it. Um, so it has to be somewhat brief, but it shouldn't be too brief. You should at least have um, some moves for all the major replies your opponent could make. And I also recommend every once in a while changing the uh, database to Lee Chess to see what amateurs are playing in certain positions. Um, and that will help you prepare for weaker moves or perhaps even blunders or mistakes. Um, and remember, a repertoire is not supposed to be complete. You can't really plan for every eventuality of your opponent, every move that they could make. Um, you're just trying to get prepared for some major, major moves and memorize some main lines and uh, maybe a few sidelines here and there. And that will give you some ideas of how to play the opening, and you'll be more prepared when you do see an unfamiliar move. All right, so I hope this uh, video was helpful. Try out these uh, studies and see if they work for you. Thanks for watching.